tactics keeping judges safe. It has been nearly a year since an Austin judge was shot out outside of her home. And just now we're seeing some security changes at the Travis County Courthouse. Judge Julie Kosurik survived an assassination attempt. And just over a week ago, investigators named the three men they suspect of plotting the attack. One was a defendant in her courtroom. The attack shined a big spotlight on safety concerns for judges and their homes at, at work as well. Tonight, KXA's Brittany Glass takes an in-depth look at visible security enhancements that are coming soon. A real wake-up call for us. That's how Commissioner Margaret Gomez describes it. The November 2015 attack on Judge Kasurik alerted county leaders, Gomez says, to take action. To make sure that everybody, you know, really feels safe. And, and uh, let's get some information, training among ourselves, uh, the things to look out for. Their first move, a security booth outside the designated parking garage for county employees, officials, and of course, judges. The construction process expected to begin any day now. I think it's always important to, to know who goes in and out of the building, and you never know when it's going to be a needed uh, piece of information. The Travis County Commissioner's Court approved the booth in the spring with the hope the county can better respond to problems with anyone who comes or goes. Did they come in? To, you know, what time did they come in? The booth comes with a price tag of nearly $83,000. Retired Judge Charlie Baird says it's a worthy investment. The weak link in the security system, though, was the, the garage parking for the judges in the criminal courts building. The focus on its security, he says, is well overdue. It should have been done before. You hate to have some type of tragic event like the shooting of Judge Kasurik be the impetus for the change that should have been made a long time ago. Commissioner Gomez says figuring out the finances took time. I'd rather err on the side of caution and make sure that whatever money we spend is money well spent. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Sheriff's Office personnel will staff this booth. They will reportedly have access to security cameras from inside. Travis County Facilities Management tells KXAN the goal is to have the security booth complete by the end of this year.